Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Wizardry 6. Last time we uh, found our way into a new area, uh, the mines here and uh, the mountain as well, it's attached to them. Uh, and we also found this wizard, uh, since we're starting in the square I guess this message pops back up. Um, yeah, as we approach the wall, he seems to be trying to say something, is, is the bit that got uh, cut off last time. So let's, uh, let me see here. Let's maybe go ahead and uh, do a little bit of healing, actually, real quick. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know as if I want to rest just yet. Uh, we can't go through here, I guess. So, um, hmm. Nothing. So it seems like there's no way to get through. Um,. Right now, actually, I was thinking we'd be able to go forward, but I forgot that it said that uh, the passage is blocked. Um, so without the ability to go any further in that direction, I guess we need to find a way to free this wizard, uh, or at least communicate with him. Um, not sure how we're going to do that, though. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we have some, some of these areas we can go through. Uh, let's see here. So this comes out over this way. Don't know where that goes. I don't think we have any keys. Uh, not any new keys anyway. Ah, uh, da da da, swag bag. We still have a key of spades. Hmm. That makes me think I missed a door back in the castle somewhere. <laughs> um, hmm. I'll have to think about that. We may need to go back there. We will probably anyway just to level up uh, when we change classes for the final time. So maybe I'll check then. Uh, for now, take care of these jellyfish and uh, see what's in this room here. We're still looking primarily for a shop, I think, right now. Uh, just in the interest of being able to Increase. Oh, interesting. I was not expecting to see that. Um, yeah, just in the interest of being able to uh, uh, increase our AC here. Now that blinding flash is actually potentially <laughs> potentially a little bit of a problem here. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's do like a chilling touch on uh, these guys, and you can do an energy blast just to make sure we can kill these guys. Yeah, it's pretty debilitating. Man, unaffected. Ooh, and she got poisoned. These things are casting all kinds of bullshit. Get out of here with that. Floaters. Yeah, that's why, I guess. So, we, whoop, uh, back up, please. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can put these guys back to sleep here. Uh, unfortunately, our spells didn't do anything. I think it's maybe because we cast them at a little bit too low of a power level. Oh my god, and they have fire fucking ball? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Unbelievable. I guess we need to be a little bit more careful around, uh, around these things. Holy shit. Well, I guess we're gonna run away and restart the episode, sort of. <laughs> Uh, cause yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, we got away. Oh, but it's probably not gonna matter. Ow. 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 Fucking Christ. Wow. That, uh, was an impressive amount of bad that just happened. Probably a static fight, I would think. Actually, and I just noticed our enchanted blade wore off, so that's probably part of the reason that it went the way that it did. So we may as well rest here. Um, let's go ahead and get some healing done. Uh, might as well have Alima do a lot of it. Uh, probably just do that. Nerb can do a little bit as well. And let's have Ulu do... Uh, let's not have Ulu do any. Gertrude can do... Maybe just a one on him. There we go. Alright, let's get Enchanted Blade back up since we're likely facing a fight in here. Indeed we are. These are much easier to kill, though. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, I think I had her accidentally uh, defend there. That's not exactly what we want. Nice crit. Hoping to see a lot more of those. 
Part of uh, the goal for this game is also just... Oh, wow, we got poisoned. Um, part of the goal for this game is... Not only to... Uh, figure out the story and... and uh, find the, uh, the Cosmic Forge and everything, but also... To... Um, to kind of get our characters set up for Wizardry 7 as well, as much as we can. Because some skills will transfer over... Uh, so that's something to consider. Now then, let's get this poison taken care of. Uh, hopefully a level 2 can do it. No, it can't. Hopefully a level 3 can do it? Yes, okay. That's uh, pretty brutal, actually. I not seeing anything over here. Just checking all of uh, these squares, basically. Just to make sure that I don't miss any uh, anything. Seems like this room is empty. Some kind of uh, a jail cell, I guess. We do have some keys. I guess we can try the keys that we have, but I'm not expecting any of them to work over here. Uh, chrome keys, yeah. We can probably, oops, we can probably just sell the chrome keys, copper keys, um, iron keys, like all of those. I don't think any of those are going to do us any good anymore. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's, uh, let's continue in the darkness here for a bit. Uh, go this way. Tricksters. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see what tricksters got for us. Seems like they're hittable pretty easily here, and they fall asleep readily. I don't think we have to worry about these guys too much. They do wake up pretty readily as well, though. <laughs> eh, there we go. Not bad. Uh, what, what have we got in here? Just darkness. I'm guessing searching the darkness isn't going to do us much good. Seems like there's nothing in here for us. So we come out and go through this way. Ooh. We got... Oh! That is an immense amount of enemies. Holy Christ. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Um, okay. All right, I'm interested. Let's have you do a bless. Just a little one. Uh, tempted to slang some fireballs, but I don't know if it's going to be necessary for us to do that. Uh, you do have missile shield, though. Interested in getting a missile shield up, because I think some of these guys can throw shit at us. Let's use the loot on these dwarves. And, um, I think armor plate is a fine choice here. And what else? Mmm. Try like a blinding flash on these giants just in case. Yeah, these dwarves are, I think one of them threw a hammer at us. These guys are blinded. This might be a little overkill for this fight, but, uh... Actually, maybe not, considering we just got hit for a shitload of damage on Fempo there. And on Nerb, holy Christ. These giants might be more than regular-ass giants, I'm not sure. Okay, what do we got now? Now we have my Oh, they're minor giants, I see. Well, they're blinded, so that should help, but, um... Hmm. Nah, I probably don't want Acid Splash. Uh, why don't you, uh, yeah, why don't you heal him? Why don't you try to heal yourself? And then I'm going to have you do an armor shield on yourself. You're going to try and put uh, these dwarves to sleep now. You should also, well... I need a haste here, I don't know. And you can actually do an armor shield on him. Let's see how this works. So we got the armor shields up. Oh, Nerb's still getting hit though. There we go, he's got a little bit of healing in now. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Now we need to start doing some damage. <laughs> Okay, who's who's in front now? Miner, see if we can still attack these 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 guys. Uh, I'm gonna try and put these dwarves to sleep, 
Uh, maybe we even do a Chilling Touch uh, and or Energy Blast on the Giants just to see if we can get these guys taken care of. Unaffected. Somebody just died. There we go. Oh no, I guess we just missed with the spell. That's what it was. Or the, the spell uh, effect was the thing there that made it look like somebody died. Might have needed a bigger bless here. Oh, there we go. We got the Minor Giant. So that's that's good. That's good. There's hope. <laughs> Just a lot of flipping enemies over here. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're advancing. Um, all right. So we attack the group that's asleep now. Let me put these guys to sleep. Um, have you do that, and let's see if you can actually finish off this guy. We go. Well, she hit him. Seems like I don't know if missile shield is uh, making those dwarves miss as much as they are, or what. But uh, the dwarves are definitely not the problem here. Although there are a lot of them, and they are very annoying. <laughs> Have to rest for another fucking day or two after this. Uh, okay, so there's not very many that are awake in either group. Uh, I'm going to have you maybe do an Acid Splash on him. And uh, then we'll just try and finish off these guys. Nice. Looking good. That giant is still up. I don't know. Maybe we just didn't do very much damage to him in melee while he was, uh, while he was up front. That is entirely possible. Cutting through these dwarves, though, so he's going to be up front soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Kill the smaller group. Uh, I think... Hmm. No, I guess you just fight. Uh, give Fenpo some stamina. He's really having a lot of stam problems, um, which is unfortunate. I'm going to actually do a heal on Nerve just in case. There we go. Fenpo's looking a little bit better for a few turns anyway. Ah, deflected. Nice. The dwarf goes down. Okay. Cutting through these guys slowly but surely. I don't think I'm going to use any fireballs or anything, even though it would be perhaps appropriate. Um, these guys just aren't hard enough to uh, really warrant that. I'm just... Uh, have everybody attack now, I think. Those doors are actually a little bit tougher, it seems like, almost. Or we're just spreading out our attacks really inefficiently. Which, by the way, as far as I know, there's you have no control over whatsoever when you attack a group. Uh, as far as who attacks which specific enemy in said group. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. alright. Alright, so we'll kill these guys, we'll kill... Those guys, but let's maybe try and put that guy to sleep. And we should be able to get both these groups, I would think. We'll see. <laughs> Seems like it maybe isn't going to happen. No, there we go. And we should... No, not quite. I was expecting that one last guy to go down. Hmm. Well, that's okay. She should be able to take care of him. We'll do that with you. All right. It'd be a real shame if someone died after going so far through this fight. Which is why I'm hoping it doesn't happen. Well, obviously, but... Hopefully I've taken enough steps to prevent it. Now, everybody's just going to attack this giant to make sure he, he dies. Okay, well, that was a little overkill, I guess. All right, let's finish these guys up. Uh, there we go. I'm expecting loads of XP from shit like this. This must be at least a good four or five thousand. And Fempo is going to pass out if we don't let him uh, rest, I think. I don't know if Hyde takes stamina or not. I hope not. Didn't seem to take enough to make him pass out. Nice. Nice chunk of XP there. All right. Save game. We really need to rest, though. 
Uh, Fempo's still asleep. That's less than ideal. Sleeping in the dark, well appropriate, maybe not advisable. Um, hmm. I'd like to do some healing with, with somebody. But uh, we're kind of low on... Actually... Actually, no, 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 that's good. Because uh, Nerb needs quite a bit of healing here. Fenpo, not Fenpo, uh, Ulu's probably got some magic left. Uh, rest again. Alright, let's uh, continue exploring, shall we? So it looks like this all matches up to itself. Uh, but there's another passage that goes down south. So let's try this out. Seems like... <laughs> oh! I just pressed the button! I was That was completely at random. <laughs> Maybe we should cast Detect Secrets, what do you think? While we're, uh, we're in the dark here. Ooh, alright. Um, yeah, let's save. Search... Uh, nope, not search. Uh, open. Inspect with Elise. There's a C. Some people do have a point of skullduggery now, but I'm not expecting much uh, to come from it, so we're kind of, we're going to try to disarm this with a C. Um, I am going to hope it's Prismic Missile. It was Cloud of Fear. Two people got paralyzed, but we got a Shadow Cloak, uh, which is interesting. Um, who will we give that to? We'll give that to her for now. A nightstick. I don't even know what this does. And a key of A minor. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this nightstick. What's this all about? Also the shadow cloak. AC minus one thief bard ninja. And, uh... That's just a key. Nightstick. It's a weapon. Only usable by fairies, interestingly enough. It's primary, secondary, um, but it, it's uh, not a reach weapon. Short range. Um, we'll hang on to this uh, for now. Uh, we can actually trade it to Gertrude real quick just to get it identified, I guess. And we'll do the same with the Shadow Cloak, just to see if there's anything else that we need to, uh, we need to know about these items. Um, let's see, swag, da, 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 where's my spells? Is she, is she asleep or something? Oh, she's paralyzed, right. So let's take care of that. Cure Paralysis, maybe level three? No. Hmm. That could be a problem. Group Paralysis level 4? Yes, okay. She doesn't have enough to do Cure Paralysis. I don't even know if she has Cure Paralysis. Whoops. Um, oh, those guys are paralyzed as well. Jeez. That's, uh, that's not good. Let's see. Who else has Cure Paralysis? You do not. Um, you do, but probably not enough. You don't have enough. So let's save and rest. I was hoping maybe one of those paralyses would come off on their own. Did not. Do you even have cure paralysis? You don't. Okay. Rest again. Probably do some healing, I guess, in between here. Um... Do like that on him, and you can do one of those on him. And let's get another cure paralysis going on, I think on you, because you might have cure paralysis. You do. There we go. All right, so that's all sorted out. You are back at full HP. All right, that, ah, uh, shit, I should have identified before I did that, but um, that's okay. Uh, let's review Gertrude. Spell, identify, nightstick, 2d4 plus zero uh, damage, also does blinding flash, and what about 
Uh, identifying our shadow cloak. So it's just minus one AC. What? Uh, who can wear the shadow cloak again? Thief Bard Ninja. So let's trade with Ulu and give him the shadow cloak. So he's the only one who can wear it right now. Uh, he still has the giant sledge, uh, which I kind of want to drop if I'm being totally honest. What does he have in his swag bag? Hmm. Rubber strand, blah, blah, blah. Uh, who, does anybody else have any weight? Mm, she sort of does. Let's trade with Gertrude. Give her that. Yeah, and she's fine. All right, so Ulu can then um, equip the Shadow Cloak. All right, and he'll have a little bit better AC, which sort of solves one of our problems. Uh, his AC wasn't really the AC that I was concerned about, <laughs> honestly. Uh, let's see, you got that. Let's do another Detect Secret from you while we're in the dark here. Seems like there's much going on in here. We do have that key though, so that's good. Um, we probably want to go and check out this dark area with Detect Secret on though. Just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it, so, okay, all right, yeah, I never would have found that, except by sheer luck, <laughs> and now I've learned my lesson, uh, so I guess that means that we want to go, mm, I'm not sure we want to go through here, I was thinking, no, we want to go back through the dark. Uh, this way, I want to try this key on one of these doors. Uh, key of A minor, no effect. And what about here? No effect, so this key does not go to, uh, to any of these. Okay, please, uh, yeah, there we go, go down one more. Uh, hmm, let me think. Where else would we want to try this? Oh, well, there's something right here. What's in here? An encounter and a chest. Doors we can handle, I uh, suspect. I'm not even gonna do a uh, an enchanted blade for this. Ow. Well, they are hitting us a little bit. I think once we get them to sleep, though, it won't matter too much. Yeah. Here we are. Much better. Got four left. I think we just fight now. So maybe we'll get a different key in this chest. I'm still wondering where, there, where we're going to find a shop, though. Very much would like to purchase some better armor, please, so we can not eat shit every single combat uh, that we fight that's against something reasonably uh, challenging. Alright, these guys are all back awake, so I guess we'll try that. Alright. I'm not really sure how we're going to talk to that wizard either. I haven't found anything that... Roasted corn, you say? Alright. Um, oh, and we got a bard level with Ulu. He's getting pretty tanky, which is good, because he's going to end up on the front line before too long. His music is getting up there too. And Jitsu's pretty good. Uh, but for now, more Thaumaturgy, if you please. New Bard spell. Ooh, yeah, we gotta get him Fireball. I don't think there's any question about about that. More, the more Fireballs, the merrier. That's what I always say. Unless they're being cast on us by those asshole fucking jellyfish. Oh, shit. Giant ants. Hmm. Let's, uh, well, let's try. Um... Try and put them, put this group to sleep, I guess. And uh, maybe do just like a, a little haste here. Maybe do a little blinding flash here. Ow. This is probably not going to go well. Although I don't think we have any of those leader ants that we had before, so maybe it won't be so bad. Unaffected. That doesn't surprise me too much, but 
I am disappointed nonetheless. It does seem like sleep is a viable option here though. Okay, so that entire other group is asleep now. I think we stick with fighting this group though. Uh, and just put them to sleep. Like so. It's gonna up the CPU cycles a little bit here so it goes oh so slightly faster. Nice, a crit helps immensely. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to at least probably win this fight. It seems likely, anyway. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this definitely highlights what I was just saying. Like, <laughs> we need we need better AC. We should be taking this much damage from a fight against basic enemies here. Uh, which, this, as far as I can tell, really is. Okay, we still got one more. Man, come on. Let's kill this guy. Actually, you know what? You hide. So you can practice that a little bit, because that'll help your AC as well. Eventually, anyway, I, I think there are like break points where it's effective. And there we go, so those guys are sorted. Now we'll do these guys, we can try like a, a fireball with you maybe, just to, like a little bit, just to, just to test it out. Maybe do uh, like a fireball with you, just for fun. And you, I think probably we just fight. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise attack for zero damage. I don't know if that counts as losing hide or not, but I'm gonna guess that it does. Oh, his fireball fizzled. That's disappointing. Or somebody's did anyway. Might have been Gertrude's. A lot easier to kill with fireballs, though. I'm noticing. Um, actually... You hide. There we go. Yeah, these, these guys are going to die just fine. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think we need any more fireballs or anything. But I will put them back to sleep just to be safe. Surprise! Excellent. Lots of XP, too. I dig it. Alright, let's, uh, let's save here and... Uh, Open this chest, shall we? Uh, inspect. Lima, Nerve, Venpo, Ulu, Gertrude, and Elise. Seems like Elise needs more Skullduggery. Uh, well... Ow, yep, ow, Firebomb. Ow, 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 ow. That's how that goes. Uh, none? Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Open, uh, inspect. Inspect, inspect, inspect. Might need to actually put some more points into Skullduggery, like, manually. Um, we got an I and an A. Oh no, not don't open it. Uh, that's That was my, my critical error last time. I, A. Could be that one. Can't be that one. Can't be that one. Could be that one. Um... I'm gonna guess this one. Ow. Poison Dagger. Well, shit. At least got poison, but that's not so bad. And we got different items this time, too. That's interesting. Let's give, uh, we don't really need that short sword. Um, Hoaxio Plate, though, is interesting. And a Terror Scroll. Uh, fuck it. We'll take the stupid short sword. Whatever. Um, Gertrude. Explain to me what this does. Uh, actually, why don't we say this? I'm curious, since we're carrying it around, it's so heavy. Does Bash only, two-handed, um, fighter, Valkyrie, Lord, and were we to identify this giant's ledge? Minus eight to hit, does knock out, but plus, it's 3d6 damage. Hmm. Interesting, but no, I don't think so. Uh, I think you should, uh, oh, geez. Her inventory is really full. Um, let's give Elise back that, and, uh, actually, let's, let's give her that and that as well. Given that she's a fairy, I guess. Uh, now let's go in here and remove the poignard, 
in the hoaxio plate and see what this stuff is about. Poignard is a dagger, um, but usable by pretty much the same people that most daggers are usable by, I guess. Um, and uh, let's see here. What about this? AC2. Not minus two. Just two. So I guess we don't want that. Yeah, it's cursed. Huh. Maybe we'll try to sell it. Um, I think I'm just going to ditch this giant sledge, though. i got to be honest. Like I, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but it is very heavy. So, goodbye, giant sledge. You were a little bit too much of a pain in the ass for me to deal with. Now, I am going to trade with Fenpo and give him this poignard so that maybe he can ID it. Real quick, I'm just curious. Um, probably should have him do all the identifying, actually, given that he's got so many mind MP at this point. Uh, but yeah, poignard. 1d6 damage and uh, plus 1 to hit. And can a samurai use it? Oh, no, no, no. He's not a samurai. That's right. Sticking a nerd was still a samurai, but he is not, in fact. So we can give him this poignard. And he can use that in his offhand, uh, which would be great. It's an upgrade from the main gauche. Um, the main gauche, I believe, is uh, 1d5 damage. And swag add. You might as well just put all this shit in there. I don't know what roasted corn does, but I'm assuming it's probably stam. We can try it real quick. Um, use nerb. Roasted corn. Oh, it's HP and stamp. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to call it an episode here. Uh, when we come back, more exploration. We'll see if we can find out what that key does. Maybe we'll go to that dark spot on the minimap uh, that I uh, need to figure out how to get to and see what's down there. But until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.